chapter 6, Mishnah 7. If an animal is designated to be brought as a chatas, it may not be put to any other use. This Mishnah discusses whether an animal designated as a chatas to atone for one sin may be used as a chatas for a different sin. If someone designated an animal as his chatas that he was obligated to bring, but he died before the chatas was offered, his son may not bring the animal after the death of his father to atone for the son's own sin, because the chatas may be used only to atone for the person who designated it. Another law. A person may not bring a chatas that he designated for one sinful act, such as eating chalev, to atone for a different kind of sinful act, such as consuming blood, because the chatas atones only for the type of sin for which it was designated. Another law. Even if someone designated a chatas to atone for having eaten a piece of chalev yesterday, he may not bring it to atone for having eaten a different piece of chalev today. Although the two sins are identical, the chatas may be brought only for the specific act for which it was designated. The Mishnah cites a biblical source for its first two rulings. A chatas may not be brought for a different person or a different type of sin than for which it was designated. Since it is stated about a chatas, Vaikra chapter 4 verse 28, and he shall bring his korban for his sin that he has committed. This implies that a person's own korban must be brought for his sin, that is the type of sin for which it was designated. He may not bring a korban that was designated for someone else or for a different type of sin.